Uh, well, I basically, after I got done at Wayne State, um, you know, we were going through a coaching change, and um, so it was tough struggle getting getting my name out there. But uh, at the time, my agent, he had gotten me in with the Buffalo Bills. Uh, I was in mini camp in 05 with the Buffalo Bills. Did well there. Um, but, you know, Ryan Lindell was there, so he's a veteran. Uh, they kept him, and uh, I went on and I went to actually Hamilton, uh, the Tiger Cats of the CFL. Uh, went to training camp there in 06. Did well. You know, they wanted me to do all three, kick, punt, and do field goals. Um, but same thing, being being an American in the CFL, it's tough to stay in uh, when they had, they had a good Canadian there. So they kept him. Uh, and then after that, <clears throat> went to – the uh, Billings Outlaws in the IFL in 07, um, you know, played a season there. Uh, in 08, went to the Chicago Rush in the training camp. And then um, in 09, I kind of took some time off. I moved to Arizona to uh, train year-round um, and just get myself, you know, back in the right game and, and get my body right. And uh, and then last year, I, you know, we just, me and my agent, we, you know, did a lot of work getting my name out there and video and uh, just, stayed consistent and, and pursued a lot of teams. And finally, uh, the Alabama Vipers took a shot on me and, and let me play a game and um, did well there and then played with the Tulsa Talons as well last year. So I kind of got my name out there. And uh, and then this year, went to a bunch of workouts, did well at all the, the private workouts I went to. Just you no know, teams, you know, wanted to take a bite <laughs> on a lefty apparently. So uh, Utah, you know, they were having some struggles early in the first two games and, um, you know, we just kept sending film, me and my agent. We just kept sending out emails to teams, and Utah, they, they took a shot on me, brought me in, and um, they lo- they like me, and it's been going great so far, so I'm happy to be here. Now, you mentioned that you moved out to Arizona, and uh, Wayne State, if I'm correct, is up in Michigan, up near Detroit, right? Yep, that's correct. Now, do you really think that, you know, going down south or going out west really gave you uh, an advantage when it came to being – being able to train more often, um, or was it just to get out to some good weather and get away from the Midwest? <laughs> well, I'm from, I'm actually from Chicago, and um, yeah, I was at the time I was you know I was living in Chicago, and it, it was literally probably I think it was 30 below the day that I I got the job offer to a fitness company out in Arizona, and I said you know I I can't do this somewhere. I, there's there's literally nowhere to train. You know you got to take you got to find an indoor facility, and it's tough to do that. Um, in that kind of weather, and it gets expensive, and I just said, you know, I'm going to take this job and see what happens, and I literally probably met probably 10 times as many contacts in Arizona as I did in two years, as I did my whole life living in the Midwest, and I was able to train, you know, a lot more consistently because of the weather. I mean, it's constantly, you know, 75, 80 degrees, um, you know, things like that. Not to mention that warm weather is probably going to help out the confidence when you're getting a couple more yards on your kicks with, you know, 85, 90 degree weather versus 60 to 65 degree weather. Yeah, it is It is nice in the summer when it's, you know, it's 100 <laughs> at about, you know, 11 o'clock, you go out and kick and the ball is just flying. Um, it's super dry, so you don't really have to worry. It's just, it's just a nice area to, to be in. You know, you can go outside anytime and, and do your thing. So it's been good. Now, you, you mentioned that you were just constantly sending out video. Um, can you take us, through a little bit of that process. I mean, um, I, with respect to getting your name out there, is it is it really like a sales job, you know, promoting yourself constantly, get everything? I mean, I see that you have a bunch of videos, um, not just from yourself, but other people have taken videos and posted them up on YouTube. I, I am, implore our uh, listeners to go take a look at some of your videos and, you know, go along that basis. And uh, that's that's how you're going to get not only, you know, more recognition for high school, but uh, even college scholarships. Uh, take us through a little bit of, the, you know, just some YouTube stuff, specifically, uh, obviously, the video of you repping uh, two, 275 <laughs> four times, was it? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, the biggest thing like I said is getting your name out and um, – I basically I don't have a good camera to use, so some of those videos are literally right off of my BlackBerry on my phone. And um, I was, you know, I, I had to do what I had to do to get video out. So I would literally <laughs> set up my phone in video mode. I would put it in my shoe behind my kicking, and I would just I would just videotape. And then I I got a cord where I could just 
plug it right into my computer and I could download it uh, directly right into my file and put it on YouTube. Um, so, you know, I did anything I could to, to show teams that I was consistent in kicking. So, like, every every couple of weeks I would try to put a new video up. Uh, there's literally, I think there's a couple of videos from me kicking at Arizona State. Uh, and then I even have a workout for me on, on New Year's Day of this past year, just showing teams that, you know, I'm not I'm not sitting at home, you know, laying back, just waiting for teams to call. I'm, I'm actively working out, staying in shape. I'm ready. I'm game ready any time a team wants to come and get me. Um, so, and that was probably the, that was probably the big thing was just consistency. I was consistently putting videos out, uh, and then my agent would add, you know, a new video would pop up, and he would put it on every new email. He would put my new video up and say, updated, you know, Greg Garson kicking workout from New Year's Day, you know, 2011, or you know, whatever it is. So, um, just staying persistent has really been the biggest thing. Uh, a lot of guys, I think, they're not. They, they hear no, you know, four or five, six times. I've probably heard no probably, I don't know, 50, 50 times. I've heard no and maybe yes, you know, five or six. So for every 10 no's, there's going to be one yes. So you just got to keep pursuing and doing your thing. That, that's really, really good advice. Now, um, while you have been successful in getting those videos out, you know, getting your name out there, do you think that you probably could have gotten into a maybe big – bigger school, maybe a D1 AA or a D1, if you would have done the video work and the self-promotion at an earlier age? Do you think that has any oh. uh, effect to what, you know, you know, possibly getting a, a D1 scholarship versus a D2? Um, yeah, of course. Um, coming out of high school, um, I actually had, I think, probably 50 or 60 Division One scholarship offers I didn't even know about. Um, I, I, my head coach, he didn't even give them to me until um, – second week of February, and we all know signing day is that first week. So uh, for whatever reason, uh, he didn't give them to me. But if I knew what I did, na- what I know now, um, yeah, I would have I would have promoted myself, you know, in a totally different way. I would have got a video camera or some way that I could videotape myself and just constantly sending out videos. Uh, and that's why I encourage uh, – that's what that's one of the things I want to do for kids is, you know, give them not only instruction on how to kick and have good form and but really, you know, the the ins and outs of what you really should be doing to get recruited. Because um, yeah, you, you can set yourself up huge in the beginning if you know what you're doing. Um, like I had no clue, uh, so I just I just let my high school coach, you know, put some videos out, send them to some match schools, and that's probably about it. So, uh, yeah, that's a very similar experience to what uh, I know I experienced in some of some other kickers I talked to. You know, you get these letters and you get some stuff from colleges, and you're kind of expecting nothing against the high school coaches, but when it comes down to it, it's you who's going to be getting that scholarship, not the coach. So it's all put on you, and uh, that's something that um, that's interesting that you're you know you're promoting the whole ideal of going about it in the right work ethic and the right style to promote yourself and get into the next level. In this case, it'd be college. Uh, that's actually what we are big advocates here at the kicking system. You know, getting the name out there, having a highlight film, either online or disc mailed out by the end of your right. junior year. So yeah. by the time that February runs around and you've got all those letters and you've got all that information, you are ready to jump on, you know, the first scholarship that you like or the one that you feel is best. Now, um, I, I know that you got your Bachelor's of Science in Kinesiology. Uh, can you take us through any advantages that gives you when it comes to uh, your kicking profession, kicking and punting? Because obviously it is a mental aspect, but when it comes down to it, it's purely physical. Well, yeah, kicking is one thing. You know, if you, if you can stay in shape, uh, you know, you're going to have a very long career. And that's something that I, I try to work out regularly. Uh, I, I hit the weights probably four days a week, and then uh, I'm always doing speed training two to three times a week. Um, kicking is all about, you know, how hard you can lock out your knee and your ankle and just hit the ball at the right time. So knowing the body and how it works uh, is, is key because you need to be flexible, you need to be strong, not only lower body but upper body. You need to be able to you know, you have really good core strength. Um, so knowing, having that, 